One way to secure open ports on your Linux servers is to obscure them with a tool called knockd. Knockd works with port knocking, which is a method of dynamically opening network ports by connecting via a predefined sequence. I want to walk you through the installation and usage of knockd. I'll be demonstrating on Ubuntu Server 19.10, but the process should work fine on any Debian or Ubuntu-based server. To install the necessary packages, open a terminal window on the server and issue the command sudo apt-get install knockd iptables-persistent. Back up the original knockd configuration file with the command sudo mv slash etsy slash knockd.conf slash etsy slash knockd.conf.bak. Create a new file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash knockd.conf. In that file, add the following. Bracket options bracket. Use syslog. Interface equals iface. Bracket ssh bracket. Sequence equals 1100, 2200, 3300. seq underscore timeout equals 15. TCP flags equals syn. Start underscore command equals slash sbin slash ip tables dash i input dash s percent ip percent dash p tcp dash dash d port 22 dash j accept. Stop underscore command equals slash sbin slash ip tables dash capital D input dash s percentage ip percentage dash p tcp dash dash d port 22 dash j accept cmd underscore timeout equals 20 where iface is the name of your network interface on the server next we need to enable knockd issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash default slash knockd in that file change start underscore knockd equals zero to start underscore knockd equals one Save and close the file. Create a new systemd file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash systemd slash system slash knockd dot service. In that file, paste the following. Bracket unit bracket. Description equals port dash knock daemon. After equals network dot target. Requires equals network dot target. Documentation equals man colon knockd parentheses one. Bracket service bracket. Environment file equals slash etsy slash default slash knockd. Exec start pre equals slash user slash bin slash sleep one. Exec start equals slash user slash sbin slash knockd dollar sign knockd underscore ops. Exec reload equals slash bin slash kill dash hup dollar sign main pid. Kill mode equals mixed. Restart equals always. Success exit status equals 0 to 15. Protect system equals full. Capability bounding set equals cap underscore net underscore raw cap underscore net underscore admin. Bracket install bracket. Wanted by equals multi dash user dot target. Save and close the file. Enable and start the new service with the following commands sudo system control daemon dash reload sudo system control enable dash dash now knock d next we must modify the firewall to deny access to ssh port 22 to do that issue the following commands sudo ip tables dash capital a input dash m state dash dash state established comma related dash j accept sudo ip6 tables dash a input dash m state dash dash state established comma related dash j accept sudo ip tables dash a input dash p tcp dash dash destination dash port 22 dash j drop sudo ip6 tables dash a input dash p tcp dash dash destination dash port 22 dash j drop Make those rules persistent between reboots with the following commands. sudo dash s. sudo iptables dash save greater than 
slash Etsy slash IP tables slash rules dot V4. sudo IP six tables dash save greater than slash Etsy slash IP tables rules dot V6. Exit. In order to SSH into the NOCD enabled server, any remote client must have NOCD installed as well. Once that's installed, invoke the NOC sequence you configured in NOCD.conf with the command NOC server IP 1100 where server IP is the IP address of the NOCD server and the NOC sequence matches the one you configured. The command should return no output. You should now be able to SSH into the NOCD enabled server. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.